Hi, I'm Rayleigh Saxton. I'm a balanced body educator, and I'm located here in Sacramento, California. Today, we're going to use the Coraline to work on some running mechanics. In specific, we're going to be working on some muscular endurance, as well as some stride length and symmetry for reciprocal motion. We have the Coraline set with each cart to the very front end with a one gray tube on each. Hi, I'm here with Kelvin and we're going to go through a sequence to work on stride and endurance for running. So Kelvin, I'm going to have you start facing up on the core line and your hands can start yeah, right about there, just about middle of the chest height. So we're going to start with the hoof. So the hoof is where you're going to be keeping your thighs parallel and this is just to prep your feet before we go into the lunge. So I'd like you to hoof this foot back. You're going to move the cart there and your thighs go side by side and bring that back in again. Let's just do that same bit on this side again. Mm -hmm. Bend the knee, push the cart back, great, and then coming back upright. Mm -hmm. So without bending the other knee, I just want you to take this leg back. Yep, that's it, and then bring it on in again. So we're just prepping the feet to begin this exercise sequence before we go into the lunge in the or the curtsy position. Great, so now let's take this to this leg here. I'm gonna have you hoof that cart away, and this time you will come down. You're going to come down into that split squat where your hip is directly over the knee. Good work, and then I would like you to come right back up again. So let's stay on this side for about two or three repetitions, just getting used to that. So you're gonna go ahead and slide that back, coming down into that split squat, great, and then coming up. So we're looking at the pelvis here to keep the pelvis nice and stable as we start working some power through the legs. And coming back up, one more on this side. And then I'd like you to switch and do the same sequence on the other legs. You're gonna take that leg back. And we are looking for some nice alignment where this hip is directly over that knee. So bring this back just a little further. There you go. And then coming on up and take that again. Coming on down, that's it. And let it slide back up. All right, next we're gonna do alternating. So I'd like you to do from the right leg to the left leg. So you'll come all the way home to the stopper before you switch legs. So go ahead and hoof with that right leg going down. He's doing a really nice job of organizing through the pelvis and the torso and then the left. Great, and then on the right, and then on the left. Once you get back to your right, you're going to hold it down at the bottom. So go ahead and take that right leg back. This is a little endurance builder or a power builder. Holding from here, we're going to practice a nice free swing in the hip. I'd like your knee to come a little forward and then press back a little bit. Great, so you're just doing a little gentle hip flexion and extension on a stable pelvis, working to maximize a nice ease and swing of that leg forward and back. Great, and then come on up to standing and we'll switch the other side. So taking that left leg back, coming down, and ideally this is all nice and steady and that leg is just going to swing back and front. Good, back and front. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. This one's challenging. It makes you sweat a little bit. One more time here and then coming on up. All right, before we transition to the next version of the sequence, we're going to prep you with a statue on wheels and into what's called a push point. So bring your hands just a little higher for this version. So I'd like you to push away. You're going to press away from the bar, keeping your alignment of shoulders, ribs, ears, and feet. This is one of those, it's much more challenging than it looks. This is one you kind of have to feel for yourself, right? And press away. Adding on for that to get a little lift in the body, I'm gonna have you press away and as you do so, I'd like you to come up onto your toes or lift your heels up at the same time and then come back in. So we're practicing a little bit of timing in the body. We're practicing a little bit of lift or power through the body as we come up, that's it. Can you do one more for me? And this is all going to come together. So what I'd like you to do from here is your hands will go one lower you're going to go into that split squat or lunge. And then as you come up, you're going to swap your feet in the middle and that's where you land into that push point. And this is really working some nice smooth symmetry of the legs in that reciprocal gait pattern. So let's start with this leg moving back first, coming down into that, arms are straight. And then you're gonna switch at the top and take that other leg back. Arms can kind of stay nice and long to assist you as you go through. Good, so now we're just working a nice swinging aspect of the gait as you might see in running. 
the nice symmetry of the legs. There's that moment in time that's called the flight phase, and that's just when he's up in that push point position and coming down. It's a challenging one to control. Let's do two more. And one more. Really beautiful, nice work. So that's a great series for working some endurance and strength and symmetry for gait in a running cycle.